everyone. I've been behind a video um, many days this week because it was really busy at work. So I'm gonna try and do a quick Dutch pour tonight for day 14 of 30 days, 30 pours. These are my colors. This is Prism Violet, Phthalo Cyanine Green and Gold. I also have Titanium White. They're all Liquitex Basics. These are mixed with 50% pouring medium and my pouring medium as always is 50% white PVA glue and 50% distilled water with about a cap full of De La Rowney Flow Enhancer per 500 milliliters of distilled water. So I mix it up in advance. So that's the water mixture that I'm putting in to these paints when I thin them down. My titanium white is probably a bit more fluid than the others. Uh, it should hopefully be so. Um, in order to allow the colours to move freely. With a Dutch pour, you put a white base down, put your colours down, cover them up with white, put some extra whites around the edge or whatever your base colour is, and then blow the paint so that they come out from underneath the covering of the base cover. Um, I've done one or two before, they've been fairly successful, but I'm in a hurry, so I could really mess this up. We'll see. I'm just painting on a canvas board. I think this is about, it's about the size of a seven inch vinyl cover. If you'd like to see what we've all been making or join in um, with 30 days, 30 pours, you can look at the challenges in the description box below this video. You can use the hashtag to tag your own work on any social media platform when you upload it and we'll be able to find you when we search for the hashtag to see each other's work. It's been really nice having some other people doing this challenge with me and you're very welcome to join us. We're almost halfway through, but there's no need to hold back. You can join at any time. Right, let's get on with this then. I've got my hair dryer set up. I've got my paints ready. I do think preparation is key with the Dutch pour. You can't really hang around so much. What is it, baby? What's up? Hmm? What's up? Why are you upset? Hey? What's up, Pickle? You can hear my cat crying in the background and she, um, she can hear there's a baby that lives in an apartment building to the back of my house. And when she hears the baby crying in the distance, she thinks it's a cat calling to her and she tries to have a little conversation with it. It's very cute. It took me a really long time to work out why she would suddenly start meowing so much, but they're doing a bit of a call and response with the baby's cries. You can only hear the baby if you're really, really, really quiet. Okay, so I've got loads of white on here. I'm going to use some cups today to prop this up so that I can manipulate it really easily because I really don't like it when things sit into the, um, the dip there. What's up? Hello. torch to get rid of those bubbles and then let's put some colors down some purple this is prism violet the gold this gold has um, some of the Turner neo color red gold pigment powder in it Right, this looks like the consistencies should be quite good. I might have put more too much colour on here though. I wonder if I'm going to be able to actually cover it up. We'll see. Using this paint scraper. I'm 
Okay, I don't want to muck it around more than that. So like I was saying yesterday, it's better not to cover it than to worry about, uh, than to muddy it. going to do the rest with my trusty tube and I think I need to put some white in here because this canvas board is it's not capable of holding white because it's puffed up it doesn't hold white the way that the other boards did, uh, the other canvas is did. Right, I like everything except these two bits here. Right, I'm going to stop now. I'm not sure about the composition, but I think if I make this the top, it might work. Honey, hey baby, hello. Come on. What do you want? You don't know, do you? You know me? Yeah. After torching, I don't have many cells. I over torched it again every single day. But I still have not got the restraint to stop myself. Anyway, I'm fairly happy with this. Um, I think if this or this side is the top, or maybe even this side, it'll look nice. It doesn't look good that this is the top, but um, yep, that's it. Quick one today. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you to everybody who's subscribed. If you'd like to find me on Instagram, my Instagram is Tokyo Makes. If you want to join in, just search for and use the hashtag 30 days 30 pause. Tomorrow we are doing, okay, tomorrow is day 15 and that makes us halfway through the challenge. Tomorrow's, um, 
Tomorrow's theme is underpainting. Almost everybody seems to paint on black and white and um, I think that underpainting is a really interesting thing, especially if you're using transparent colors. You can see that there's a theme related to the whole 30 days, which it, I've kind of developed my interest in to do with transparent, semi-transparent and opaque colors and how they're interplaying with each other. I really loved the pour that I did on gold. Let me just go and grab it. This looks so yellow in photos, but it's this really amazing gold and it's got this kind of gold mist over the whole thing. This was, this was my densities and opacities pour. Um, it didn't have much, there's a tiny bit of um, translucence to the phthalo, phthalo blue, but there's so much paint on here it's not spread out enough, you'll probably be able to see more that like the prism violet is um, semi-transparent and so is the phthalo green, transparent or semi-transparent, I can't remember which now. But you can see here as well you're getting different shades of the phthalo, phthalo blue here and here where it's spread out at the edge and here where it's got the green layered on top of the phthalo blue and then there's this turquoise here which is opaque. So I'm really interested in what happens when you're painting on non-white bases. Apart from that, it's a free it's a free challenge in terms of what kind of technique you use. So if you mess up your Dutch pour today, you can have another go tomorrow if you're feeling brave. Or you can play it safe and try and do something more exciting with colours and put, place your focus there. Once again, thank you so, so much for watching everybody. Thanks for all your support, your comments and your subscriptions. I really, really do appreciate it. Have a great Sunday everybody and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.